Well, late last year, we told you about an ongoing issue facing the criminal justice field. An enormous backlog of trials. The defendants who are waiting for jury trial have been put on hold due to the pandemic. Now, Clay County is finally resuming jury trials after a shutdown during the pandemic. In just the past few weeks, the county has mailed out hundreds of jury summons. At the same time, Clay County clerks are working feverishly to keep residents up to speed on all the documents that are now available online in light of the pandemic. Joining us now is Clay County. Clerk of Courts Tara Green. Tara, thank you for joining us this morning. So morning, we have a lot Scott. to talk about. There's a lot going on in your office, obviously. Let's start with this jury issue. Now that you have started seating juries again, what does that mean for Clay County? Well, it's a good thing. It's been quite a process to get to where we are today, but we uh, we successfully sat our, um, sorry about that. We successfully sat uh, or qualified our first round of jury and that was quite a challenge because, you know, you take a traditional system where you bring jurors in, you have their attention, you have them in front of you, um, you know who's there, who's not there, and you transition that into an online environment uh, through Zoom, very similar to this platform. And uh, it, it, it comes with its challenges, but we, we were able to qualify um, the appropriate amount of jurors so that we could uh, see a trial. Well, this is so, a this is a big deal for things going forward, and and so you know, hundreds are sent out. A lot of Clay County residents can expect a jury summons. What should they expect? Should there be concerns about health or safety? Talk to me about that. And I, I'm assuming this is something the county's really put a lot of thought into. Oh yeah, absolutely. Across the state, um, all um, all the courthouses, all the clerks, all the uh, trial judges have worked a lot on um, ensuring safety in the courthouse. I will say most of what's going on in phase two is um, qualifying jurors via Zoom online. And, and it is it is a little bit longer process. So we are very fortunate that we have citizens that are willing to serve and, and uh, provide their civil duty. And we ask for their, their patience because uh, it is quite a, a, a transition in, in um, being able to qualify those jurors. But then once they come into the courthouse, we have all kinds of safety measures in place to ensure that their safety, the employee safety, um, and anybody else in the courtroom. So we're looking forward uh, to seeing our citizens back in the courthouse on a regular basis. And we've got all the precautionary measures in place to ensure that they're safe. I want to talk about the other aspect of your office that's so important to people. That's like getting your documents. Uh, just there's so many things that people go to the courthouse to get or historically have. Right now, this is Sunshine Week where Clay County clerks across Florida are highlighting transparency in government. So people's options have increased online. Tara, talk to me about this dynamic of, you know, what people can do online so they don't have to go wait in line at a clerk's office if they're not comfortable with it. Yeah, so clerks across the state um, have put a lot of time and resources into making these records available online, whether it be official records, court records. We even have, you know, financial records through the county in our comptroller role, as well as, you know, Board of, Board of County Commission meetings. Those are considered records. There, from a court record and official record perspective, um, you know, we want to provide access when access is um, allowed. So there are some confidentiality uh, requirements, not only on the court record side, but also in the official record side for like your law enforcement individuals. So it's quite it's quite a uh, dip, uh, complicated system on the back end from a technology to be able to say, who are you? What act, what record are you trying to access? And what level of information are you able Re to access? Real quickly, one more question before we got to go. I want to ask about that complicated portion because you got a lot of senior citizen communities, uh, senior citizen residents in Clay County. You may not be as comfortable going and finding documents online. What are their options? How have you reached out to the senior community? Well, what we what we've done is the complication is on the te te technology on the back end. It, it, you should be able to sign on whether you're a senior citizen or even a, a high school student. You should be able to sign on and get access to whatever record you have the ability to get access to. And as you know, Florida is the most open record as far as policies in the state of Florida. And, and, so there's and to a clarify, lot of access Can out they there. call if if internet's not an option for them? Absolutely, absolutely can call. They can come and see us. We've been open. We're open. That works. Tara Green, Clay County Clerk of Courts, we really appreciate you taking the time. Important stuff this morning, Tara. Thank you. Thanks, Scott.